Hello everyone, today is Say No to Taxes Tuesday, and today we will discuss the home office deduction. I am Octavia Connor, the CEO of Say Yes to Profits. Small business owners and entrepreneurs who work from home could save big money on their taxes by taking the home office deduction. Now the only way to save big money is that they must meet the IRS requirements and keep good records. Now in my previous video, I discussed how to keep good records related to your taxes so that you receive the largest tax benefit for your business. So go back and check out my previous Say No to Taxes Tuesday video. Now, if you use part of your home regularly and exclusively for business-related activities, the IRS lets you write off associated rent, utilities, real estate taxes, repairs, maintenance, and other related expenses. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind. The top three are, number one, you can claim the deduction whether you are a homeowner or renter. And you can use the deduction for any type of home where you reside at, except hotels and temporary lodging. Number two, the space you're using for business must be used exclusively and regularly to conduct your business. For example, if you have a home office and your kids come home after school, they cannot come into your home office to do their homework. And number three, it must be your principal place of business, meaning it must be the place where you do mostly to entirely everything related to your business. So I know that you're probably wondering, well, how do I calculate my home office deduction? Well, you can calculate your home office business deduction based on two methods. The first method is the percentage of home you use for your business. And the second method is a simplified square footage calculation, which the IRS developed in 2019. So the first method, the percentage method, you must measure the square footage devoted to your home office and find out what percentage it is of your total area of your home. The second method, the simplified square footage method. Now, again, in 2019, the IRS prescribed a rate of $5 per square foot with a maximum of 300 square feet. So for example, if your home office measures 200 square feet, you can take that 200 square feet, multiply it times five, and that's gonna give you a total home office deduction of $1,000. The key thing to remember is that when determining if you can use the home office deduction is that you have to determine whether you qualify each and every year. You cannot take last year's numbers and use it on this year's taxes. In addition to that, claiming a home office business deduction is not going to generate a red flag for you with the IRS. The key thing you want to remember is that you calculate your square footage and related associated expenses correctly. So if it happens to do that, you're good. Now, if you have any tax questions or need tax services, click the link somewhere around in this video and schedule your free 15 minute tax chat with me. I am Octavia Connor, CEO of Say Yes to Profits and the number one virtual CFO for you.